Okay, um, so the DID specialist update. Focus. Um, I saw my regular psychologist today, and so, yeah, she's got the report from the, the DID specialist. It's also been sent to my GP, which is not going to be awkward next time I see my GP. Um, uh, hopefully she just won't think about it. Anyway, um, update is, uh, so what did the DID specialist say? Not really anything new that I didn't say in my, like, one right after seeing her. Um, uh, basically, yeah, so I do have, like, in her opinion, it does look like I have depersonalization, derealization, and some kind of dissociative identity issue. Um, no diagnoses, but she thinks I'm in that sort of DID-ish area, if that makes sense. Um, uh, I'm not sure if this was in the report or my psychologist's opinion, but because my symptoms are not so cut and dry, um, you know, it's not really appropriate to diagnose me with anything at this stage. Um, and it, you know, they'd all be very reluctant to do so because it's so unclear. Um, so I think that's sensible. Uh, the other things like delusions or whatever, not completely ruled out, but she really does think it's more in the dissociation, DID-ish type stuff. Okay, so we've got that kind of confirmed. Uh, what are the other things that I need to say? This is a really bad time for me to be recording stuff because my brain is not um, right. And why is that? Because the therapies she recommended, that's what it is. Um, and I was Googling them. Uh, one is like internal family systems therapy and another one is ego state therapy. And I've been really tired this afternoon. I don't know if it's just what's been going on in life or let's not even speculate or I'll sit here mumbling too much. Um, yeah, so I, I just looked them up on Wikipedia because that's all I had the energy to read. I was genuinely struggling to stay awake. Like, I tried to watch some YouTube videos and I was just falling asleep. Um, so why am I still awake at 11.30 at night? Um, yeah, well, so I just, I, I need to record this now because I don't have time tomorrow and I don't want to forget things in a couple days. Um, that's why I'm recording now. And my brain was out because, yes, yeah, so I was looking up those therapies. I kind of, uh, I'm not sure what to think about them. My therapist was concerned that I would not be interested because there's not a whole lot of evidence to show their efficacy. But in the whole, like, you know, dissociation and particularly dissociative identity space, there's not a whole lot that actually does have well-researched evidence behind it. Um, I think it's probably more case studies or something. It's something that's really hard to study. Um, so, yeah, she was concerned that once I started researching it, I'd be like, there's not enough evidence, I'm not going to do it. But I kind of do understand the lack of research means I don't really have much choice. So I got to find someone who does these therapies in Sydney who hasn't closed their books for eternity because there's a shortage and like in this particular niche, good luck to me. Um, because, you know, the DID specialist herself booked out for, you know, most of next year by the sounds of things, so. Um, uh, yeah, so I was looking up that stuff and I think that probably primed my brain a little bit and then I was watching the last two episodes of um, Dexter Season 5 and some more relevant themes start popping up, like in terms of people who know his secret and then also the girl and, um, you know, when she's like, no, I'm done with all this kind of stuff and his reaction and there's just like a lot going on in my brain and things that I um, have experienced in life that I can't talk about. Obviously I've never done, I've never murdered anyone or anything but like there's just some things that have happened in my life that I am not ready to talk about and brought up some of that for me and so I'm a little bit in that headspace where I mean, I hate to use the sort of DID terminology, but it's that switchy kind of feeling. Or if we use the vampire terminology, what did they call it then? They had a different word for it. Um, it uh, it's been so long and it'll sound cheesy. If, <laughs> so anyway, so I'm trying really hard to focus and not come across as crazy, but I know I'm already crazy. So why, why worry? Okay. 
Um, no, the main thing is focus because I don't want to get too distracted. So where was I going after that? Looking up therapy. Okay, so the next stages for psychology, like what are we doing? What did we do in session today was we started off with a bit of planning for next year because my regular psychologist is going to be away for at least six months. Um, so yeah, not really any point starting on this work with her and the only one that she's even sort of familiar with is the internal family systems thing and no one else at the clinic has any training in that area. Um, she reckoned there was some place like in Hurstville that she would recommend but their books are closed so yay, can't can't really do anything there. Um, I've met, I've, well, <laughs> I tried to email the DAD specialist again but she's away um, so I'll have to try again later but yeah you know, my, my usual psychologist is like, yeah, just try and get on the waiting list anyway, even though it'll be like the second half of next year before I even have a chance to get in. But if everywhere is like that, might as well. So I've got that on my to-do list. Um, in the meantime, um, I'm going to try and research who even does these therapies. She is, my, my regular psychologist is going to research who does these therapies, see if we can find anyone in Sydney. Um, and then... Uh, sorry, my, um, I just had a thought and it's gone, and I think that's going to happen a lot through this video, I'm sorry, it's taking a while to get to the point, I'm just very distracted. Um, uh, wow, I don't even remember what I was, where I was going. Therapy, next year. Uh, in the meantime, so, like, I'm keeping my little diary thing, and my, psycho my regular psychologist has been checking in on me. It's been like a month since I've seen her. And in that time, she's sort of been checking on me weekly. Um, and so, like, I've actually had some moments where I've really badly spiralled. Um, oh, and why is this relevant? Because I'm probably not going to see her for the rest of the year unless something comes up um, between now and Festivus. Um, and yeah, so the reason it's relevant that she's been looking at my diary was sort of to reassure me, because we're like, should we book something in, or I'm doing okay, you know, like I have been spiralling, but I've managed to pull myself out within a couple of days and sort of stabilise before I go into another spiral or, you know, before something else comes up. Um, so I've been managing things okay. I mean, I've had so much practice being depressed, so like I keep doing stuff instead of just staying in bed, and I think it's maybe a bit less chemical this time. Um, maybe, I don't know. Uh, that really big, long depression <laughs> was really messed up then. Um, anyway, yeah, so she's been keeping an eye on my diary, and she said that, like, you know, keep doing my diary up until Festivus, and she's going to keep checking in weekly, and if it looks like that I'm going in a spiral and sustaining the spiral and not coming out of the spiral, um, then she would get in contact with me, um, yeah, so she's sort of keeping tabs on me. She also did say, and like I've kind of known this, is, um, you know, like we're not really doing anything in therapy other than help, trying to plan future treatment, and then she's just there as like, she described it as a supportive role, because there's nothing she can do for me, you know, the schizoid stuff. Um, you know, like you can't really treat schizoid, or there's no known treatment for schizoid. I'm not sure that I really care to treat that anyway because um, I don't like people and I don't see how that's going to change. Um, uh, I mean, I've gotten better at interacting with people, doesn't mean I like them. Um, you know, asterisks here and there, there's the odd person I can tolerate. Okay, cool. Um, it's the depression stuff that we were trying to treat, but because of the schizoid, it makes it a little bit harder to treat because I just think differently. So, yeah, a lot of the usual things don't work. Okay, so we've tried all that. Where was I going with this train of thought? <laughs> it's so hard to keep focused. Um, I know, I'm, I'm worse than I usually am in terms of keeping my thoughts together. Um, shit, where was I going again? <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, so, depression, trying to treat depression, we've tried a whole bunch of therapies, nothing has worked, I seem to be doing all the things that I'm supposed to do, uh, if I was a normal person, but I have schizoid, so, yay. Uh, yeah, and, like, you know, I've known for ages that she's sort of been a bit, I, I feel frustrated with the lack of progress, um, but she can't just drop me, because, <laughs> you know, I clearly am not, 
not doing the best all the time, like I'm, I'm not well. Uh, so yeah, she described it as a supportive role. And then, you know, I kind of just turn up and update her and stuff. And I think like, you know, the dissociation stuff and going to see the specialist, that's like the m biggest thing that's happened all year in terms of therapy for me. Everything else is just trying stuff. It doesn't work. Okay, now what? And sort of monitoring what I'm doing, monitoring what I'm feeling, trying to find some sense of stability. We talked a little bit about the, wow, have I been talking about for 10 minutes and like saying basically nothing? We talked about like the whole YouTube thing and not being able to keep it up and, you know, how I just, I'm always going through this cycle of interests that I just can't hold. Um, and it's frustrating, but she thinks it's good that I've pulled back and that I'm able to pull back when I recognize that it's not going well. Like, you know, if I, if I push myself too much, I will we'll continue to spiral, but I've pulled back. I think there is a sense of relief. Cool. Well done me. That's all stuff that I've done myself though. Like there's not stuff from the therapy, uh, but we talked about it. I don't know if we came to any conclusions. Uh, you know, she was even surprised when I said, like, at the art studio, I'm making these little pom-pom animals, and they're actually quite cute and very different to, like, the heavy metal stuff I do. And I was like, yeah, like, I just do all this stuff, you know, there's the heavy metal stuff, um, there's YouTube, and YouTube involves, like, editing and some more technical stuff, but then I'll go outside and do some bonsai, which is very different to working with technology. And then I'm making cute pom-pom animals, and I used to, like, knit while listening to heavy metal, and it's just like, what even is my life? And, like, I can't just stick to something. I have to do all these things. I, I don't, like, you know, when my brain wants to do something else, if I don't, I just feel garbage. Um, yeah, which is frustrating. Like, it's kind of cool in a way that I can do a bunch of stuff, but it's frustrating that I can't ever get particularly good at anything like I'm, I'm a little bit good at a lot of things not great at anything um, and I can't really build anything properly it's like you know I've been working on YouTube and it, yeah I like you know things have been moving along but then I'm like nah I'm just sort of in a way self-sabotage and just go off and do something else for a bit and then anyway um I don't even know if there was more that I needed to say in this video. I think it was mainly the, the DID specialist thing, things in therapy. I don't know what I'm doing next year. And the thing about, oh, also about like looking up the, the internal family systems therapy and ego state therapy, reading about those things on Wikipedia. So it's only like the very basic outline. And that's why I read it because it was short and I couldn't concentrate earlier. I was really falling asleep. Um, now I'm obviously a bit more like, ah, this, um, yeah, no, reading about that stuff, the trouble with it is it doesn't tell me anything about what can I do now while I'm waiting to find a therapist, while I'm waiting to get treatment, surely there's something I can do now on my own, but it's not clear, and I don't know, and then, like, I've tried to deal with the issues of the, the dissociative identity issues I've tried to deal with it in what I thought was the right way in the past and it just didn't go quite well like if it had gone well maybe I wouldn't be still like going ah what is my life and like you know having a moment like today where I'm just like trying to focus and having watched the the finale the two last episodes of season five and all the stuff that's going on in there and my brain going, ah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I thought I had it all figured out. And then I didn't. And also realizing that I got myself into some situations that were really not good. So clearly what I've done in the past hasn't worked and probably isn't the right approach. Clearly what I'm doing now isn't the right approach because nothing's being solved and I'm being told to see DID specialists and do all this other therapy. Um, so, yeah, that that's what's frustrating me is, like, especially right now when I'm having that sort of, for lack of a better word, switchy feeling, is like, what do I do with it? Do I just keep doing what I've been trying to do and, like, push it away like the delusion thing? 
um, just in, like, you know, and keep doing that until I can find someone who can tell me otherwise. Um, or something else I'm meant to do and I mean, like, it's, it's been so long since I made that sort of an effort that I'm not sure. I'm probably not going to sleep for a little while, depending on how well I can just... I need to find some way to distract myself if I am going to push it away, because I do need to sleep. I don't have time to be um, having my brain go in a spaz and, oh shit, now I'm depersonalizing from my own talking. Oh, I should probably just stop before I say that. I don't know. Like, I, I, I already made a couple attempts to talk, and it's just like, yeah, brain... But we've done 15, almost 16 minutes. Okay, that's a good effort of trying to keep focused. I'm going to attempt to go to bed and <laughs> see what happens from there. Uh, anyway, um, was there a, uh, I feel like I just had another thought and it's gone again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end the video. Sorry, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Bye.